If you are moving and shifting something, at first you should consider here on the top side you have the snapping option. But that's not the only important thing if you want to snap. Snapping helps you a tremendous amount. As you can see, it already automatically snaps with the anchor point. But we kind of have troubles fitting it perfectly on top here. Ctrl Z. Let's place Ctrl Z. How can I achieve that? Well, it's pretty simple. You click on this composition. You press your shift key. Pressing and clicking shift will make sure that I can move it in the horizontal, like here, and vertical line outgoing from the original position. So the perfect way to start will be to click, press shift and go up. Now, what about this snapping? There's another shortcut. I'm holding my shift key all the time and I can also press the left control key. Once you pr press the left control key, as you can see, you automatically snap this perfectly to the side. Let me show you another example before you start doing this yourself, because I would like you to open After Effects and try this yourself. We have the anchor point here and just look at that. I press my Y key, which is the pen behind tool, which normally moves this anchor point around. Let's say that you have an older version of After Effects like, like CS6 and as I remember, the snapping of the anchor point wasn't easy there. And sometimes people made the mistake that they just placed the anchor point and okay, it's kind of in the center. No, you can take this anchor point, you can press your left control key and the snapping will be automatically enabled in After Effects. And this did work in Adobe After Effects CS6. So since that version until the most recent version, you definitely need to remember about the control key. All right, 